Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Dear colleagues, Rosoboronext per joint stock company is a Russian state-owned company, a part of Rostec Corporation, is the only state uh, intermediary in exports and imports uh, of uh, technologies, services, and final products of military and dual use. Uh, products manufactured by the Russian enterprises have a substantial combat experience and are successfully exported. They are in service in many countries all over the world where they always manage to prove their high specifications. Today, I would like to tell you about the most effective and efficient methods of combating unmanned aerial vehicles and the means of Russian production that can be used to uh, build a reliable layered air defense system. At the beginning of our presentation, I'd like to highlight that the experience of using UAVs during uh, wars and local military conflicts has shown that the range of the tasks solved with their use is constantly expanding. The main threats of UAVs are the unauthorized collection of information at protected territories, reconnaissance at guarded facilities, delivery of small-sized contraband cargo, precision strikes against critical infrastructure, transmitting information to enemy fire weapons. In this regard, the underestimation of UAVs and their threat can lead to serious consequences. All UAVs can be divided into four classes. Light, with a takeoff weight of up to 15 kilos. Medium, up to 200 kilos. Heavy, up to 1.5 tons. And super heavy, more than uh, 1.5 tons. Depending on the type of a UAV, there are different methods of combating them. Light and partially medium UAVs are inconvenient target uh, for air defense systems. They are small in size, weight, and have a low fly speed. In addition, they use communication channels that can be successfully suppressed by electronic warfare systems. Firing SAMs against this type UAVs is impractical for economic reasons. UAVs of medium, heavy, and super heavy classes are larger in size, so they can be effectively engaged by fire means such as Vitis air defense missile system, Viking ADMS, Panzer S1M, Tor M2E, or Verba Manpads. In this regard, any counteraction system for UAVs must include both electronic warfare and air defense systems. I propose, first of all, start with air defense missile systems of Russian production that can also engage unmanned aerial vehicles. The first one is S-350E uh, Vitis air defense missile system. It is designed to uh, ensure the protection of key administrative, industrial and military facilities from massive air attacks, including unmanned aerial vehicles. The system includes the combat control post, up to two multifunctional radars, launching unit, uh, launching loading installations, up to eight of them in total in any composition, some ammunition and technical support means as well as training facilities. The ADMS can be also equipped with auxiliary radar means. Air defense missile system is installed on uh, wheel chassis of high cross-country ability. The key specifications are the engagement range of aerodynamic targets is from 2.5 kilometers to 120 kilometers. The engagement range of ballistic targets is from 5 to 25 kilometers. The altitude of aerodynamic targets engagement is from 10 meters to 25 kilometers. Ballistic targets from 2 to 20 kilometers. The maximum speed of engaged targets is 2,000 meters per second. The system is capable of simultaneously engaging 16 aerodynamic targets or 12 ballistic targets.
The next air defense missile system capable of engaging unmanned aerial vehicles is Viking ADMS. It is multi-channel, medium-range air defense missile system uh, designed to cover troops, administrative and industrial facilities from strike of modern and prospective air attack means, including unmanned aerial vehicles, in conditions of strong radio, electronic and fire suppression. The main system's elements are the target detection, designation and control post that includes the radar means and combat control posts and up to six firing units of two types. One is self-propelled firing unit with one launcher and the second one is the target illumination and guidance radar with two launchers. It also includes some ammunition and technical support means. This slide shows the key specifications of this outstanding newest ADMS. The system is highly mobile and survivable. It has short reaction time, that is up to 12 seconds. The system engages targets at the ranges of up to 65 kilometers and altitudes up to 25 kilometers. One self-propelled firing unit is capable of simultaneously engaging six targets and guides 12 missiles. The ADMS in full set is capable of engaging 36 targets simultaneously. Panzer S1M air defense missile and gun system is the short-range ADMS capable of engaging air targets with both missile and gun armament. It is designed to ensure the air defense of small-sized military, including mobile ones, administrative and industrial facilities. It protects territories from aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, single MLRS shells, guided air bombs and other high-precision weapons. One combat vehicle can operate autonomously and engage simultaneously four air targets with both missile and gun armament. On one combat vehicle, there are 12 surface-to-air missiles and 1,230 millimeter art artillery rounds. The engagement zone are as follows. The range of engagement of air targets with missile weapons is from 1,200 meters up to 30 kilometers. The altitude is from 15 meters to 18 kilometers. As for the guns, the altitude of engagement is up to 3 kilometers and the range is from 200 meters to 4 kilometers. Another short-range air defense missile system is Tor M2E. It is designed for the protection of the most important military and government facilities day and night in difficult meteorological and jamming conditions from aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles, anti-radiation and other guided missiles, uh, gliding and guided bombs and UAVs. There are eight SAMs on each combat vehicle. The detection range is 32 kilometers. The Tor M2E ADMS is capable of detecting 48 targets. Engagement zone is from 1 to 15 kilometers by range and from 10 meters to 10 kilometers by altitude. The quantity of simultaneously engaged targets is 4. Verba Manpads is designed for the direct engagement of different type targets in condition of their direct visibility on head-on and catching courses at the ranges of from 500 meters to 6 kilometers and altitudes from 10 meters to 3.5 kilometers. Please pay your attention to the low weight of combat set. It is only 17 kilos. Verboman pads can be operated by a single anti-aircraft gunner. The main advantage of the uh, man pads uh, is the presence of three spectrum home and head, uh, due to which uh, the system is highly resistant to interference and has increased capabilities for engaging targets with low thermal radiation.
Now I propose that we move on to the radioelectronic suppression means. The repellent patrol system, thanks to its design features and implemented technologies, can be of interest not only for the defense ministries of uh, foreign customers, but also for the special and law enforcement agencies. It can be installed on different base chassis, including those manufactured by the customer. It also can be placed in field and urban conditions in fixed position on the roofs of the buildings. Repellent patrol system can also operate on the move. It solves tasks of conducting continuous radio reconnaissance, detection of UAV signals and generation of jamming signals to ensure their suppression. The detection area of the aircraft type UAV is 25 kilometers. For quadrocopter type UAV, the detection range is 7 kilometers. It suppresses aircraft type UAVs in the 40 degrees sector at the range of 20 kilometers and quadcopter type UAVs in circular rotation mode at the range of 4 kilometers. Repellent patrol system can also be equipped with scout patrol radar that ensures the small sized target's detection. The maximum detection range of an aircraft is 30 kilometers. The radar is capable of uh, detecting uh, the targets with the radar cross-section of one square meter at the range of uh, 15 kilometers. This is the aircraft type UAV. It detects uh, the quadcopter type UAVs with the radar cross-section of 100 meter, a square meter uh, at the range of uh, 5 kilometers. The next electronic warfare means is RB504PE anti-UAV countermeasure set. It is designed to detect UAVs in the spatial sector of 360 degrees in azimuth and up to 40 degrees in elevation and to create radioelectronic interference to control data transmission and satellite navigation channels at the range uh, no less than uh, 1.8 kilometers. The number of simultaneously generated interferences for the control channels is 4 and satellite navigation channels is 2. Uh, this system provides both sector and circular uh, suppression modes uh, for the effective counteraction uh, to the swarm of UAVs. The system can be supplied in two versions, with or without the direction finder. The portable radioelectronic countermeasure system, argument 2, is a radioelectronic gun that can be included into individual set of weapons of a serviceman. It can be used uh, to uh, protect objects and territories and to prevent the misuse of UAVs in guarded areas and any possibility of uh, terrorist attacks. The range of UAVs satellite navigation channel suppression is up to 2.1 km. Control channels is 1.1 km. The portable countermeasure system argument 3 is designed to suppress UAVs in 360 degree sector in order to disrupt the flight mission. The system is capable of operating in omnidirectional mode in order to ensure the swarm of UAV suppression. The range of satellite navigation channel suppression is 2 km and control channels 1 km. Thus, the presented elements are the cubes. Depending on the type of UAV, they can help to build and strengthen the system of counteraction to unmanned aerial vehicles over the territories to protect the state and other uh, important objects. Thank you for your attention.